Good evening students. Welcome back to our channel like SAG CT. So today we had OET exams. 17 August 2024. We are going to discuss about today's question papers. Okay. So what about the questions asked in today's exam? So first about the reading module. In first set of part A, it was about inquinal hernia. Paragraph A arranged with the definition. Paragraph B types of hernia. Paragraph C investigation and examination criteria including procedure. Paragraph D with the surgical interventions and postoperative complications. C1 and C2. C1 including antibiotics and hearing loss and C2 with risk factors. Now coming towards the second set. Part A about hyperhidrosis. Paragraph A arranged with the definition. Paragraph B with the types. Different types like mild, moderate and severe. Paragraph C, diagnostic evaluation and paragraph D, treatment and management. That's about the second set. And in that C1 and C2, waterborne disease and about the vaccines and preventions. Now about the third set of reading. In part A, they asked for herpes zoster. Paragraph A, including the definition. Paragraph B with the signs and symptoms, paragraph C with medications and paragraph D including complications and topical management. So you can also comment your experiences below about the exam experience and also about the question categories which you got. So here are the C1 and C2 including itching and stroke. Now we will move towards the next module writing. So in first set it was an unknown case. We need to write a referral letter to community health manager. Patient name is Emma, medical history with ectopic dermatitis. She is very concerned about the condition and she is a non-case of breast cancer and done lumpectomy. Chemotherapy and radiation is ongoing. Current problem is pain and difficult to find new vein. So after three attempts, we inserted pig line which means peripherally inserted central catheter. Dressing and care needed for the line and site. So we need to write a letter to community health manager. So that's about the first set of letter. Now we will discuss the second set of later. So here it's a home visit request. We need to write a referral letter to community dentist. Patient is a chef. So done a cutting and laceration, done suturing and you are a community nurse to visit for dressing. So progress need to be documented in a daily basis. So currently that wound is healed and in the surgical history he done a surgery in the year 2000 and patient is using crutches that means limited mobility. Now the patient is complained about the pain and loose tooth so difficulty to chew. So patient having restricted mobility so we need to request the community then this to visit her in home. So that's about the writing module. Now we will move towards the next module speaking about the first role play card. The setting is emergency department. We are talking with the patient after fall so we need to explain about some procedures and also the management like the suture curl, dry patches, aftercare and also about the follow up visit of the patient. So that's related to the first role play card. Now about the second card. Setting is community health clinic, unknown case of mother and child. A child has constipation and the mother is very concerned about child's condition. So ask about the lassitudes, whether they consumed any lassitudes or about the treatment already done and we need to explain about the methods to prevent the constipation further. About the third card, setting a surgical ward, patient assigned for cataract surgery, we need to explain about the preoperative procedures and also about the care. Then the fourth one is setting is clinic, unknown case and patient gained overweight. So you need to give a health education about the dietary management, the exercise and the lifestyle management need to apply. And about the fifth one setting is clinic, complaint of rashes in the chest area. So patient is very concerned about the condition. So you need to reassure the patient and explain well about the care and management. Now we will move towards the last category, listening. First set about the talk with a rheumatologist and talk with a gastroenterologist. Second set including talk with pulmonologist and talk with an ENT consultant. And about the third set talk with a neurologist and talk with a dermatologist. So that's about the OET exam conducted today. You can also share your experience below. And all the very best for your results and God bless you all. Stay tuned for more updates related to OET.